Skylar Hansen was an 18-year-old patient who came in with asthma exacerbation. Hi, Mr. Hansen. My name's Tara, and I'm going to be your nurse today. And I'm Matt, and I'm from Respiratory. She administered a treatment through his IV, and I gave him um, an albuterol treatment via nebulizer. So switch out masks here. This one has a little medicine for it to help you breathe better. We were giving him albuterol treatments, the salumedrol IV push, because he was having trouble breathing. I'm, I'm still just having a really hard time breathing. Okay. That wasn't helping. His sats were dropping below 90. Skylar? Okay. His stats went down, and so we called a full code. She started compressions, I started to bag them. Respiratory student intubated him. We just went through a code, which you can see in a hospital. During that scenario, they went in expecting just to give a breathing treatment as you would in a hospital setting and they found out that he was in distress and he ended up going into cardiac arrest. You have respiratory therapists in there, you have radiology coming in there. Um, we now currently have paramedics working in the hospital and when you call a code in the hospital you're assembling a team. A big part of what I've learned from Simulation Lab and applying to the real life setting is teamwork. When you're working as a charge nurse on the floor you need to be able to delegate to your staff nurses and tell them what needs to get done, you need to be able to delegate that clearly. The simulation lab at Northeast Iowa Community College is a great way to simulate that and give you some real life experience before you're thrown out into the real world. The debriefing part is the major aspect of the whole simulation, that's where the learning really occurs. The students are able to look at their videos with their instructor and they get feedback from each other and the instructor. You could see what you did wrong, usually you can pick it out yourself, um, but if you don't, and the instructor will tell you what, where you need to improve. They ask questions, what do you think we could have done better, what do you think they did well, and we critique each other. And they also do a really great job um, reinforcing that what happens in the simulation lab stays in the simulation lab. HIPAA rules apply to the patients that we see and the scenarios that we have too. Our students are able to practice in a safe learning environment and that gives them the opportunity to see what it's going to be like when they enter the workforce so they're prepared. It's benefited our patients because of the confident professional students who are leaving our program and I think it also benefits our our communities by having emergency personnel being trained to work on trauma situations. Before we practiced doing codes and simulation, I don't know what I have done if a patient would have stopped breathing in the hospital as a student. I feel much more comfortable if that would happen now.